What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. Here I have the Viper Spectra XS1500 LED grow light, and in this video I'm going to unbox the unit, I'm going to test the PAR output, and I'm going to do a heat test on it. I'm not going to go over all of the features that this grow light has, but I will leave a link down in the description section below, so you can click on that if you want to learn more about the light. Okay, first thing out the box is the fixture. Next is a wire hanging kit, power cord, a set of rope ratchet hangers, a card here which shows you what to do if you're happy or if you're not happy, and then lastly is an instruction manual. For the part test, I'm going to use the Apogee MQ620 extended range part meter. This meter measures from 340 nanometers to 1040 nanometers and the measurements are in PPFD. I do these PAR tests just to give you a general idea of what the PAR output is. It's not gonna be 100% accurate. I take measurements in grow tents, which have reflective walls. That could increase the numbers, so just keep that in mind. The flowering coverage area is two feet by two feet, and I'm taking measurements in a two foot by four foot grow tent. I'll do my best to keep my PAR meter in a two foot by two foot space. I'll be taking measurements at three different distances, 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches. I've plugged the LED grow light into my kilowatt meter and it shows 1.23 amps, pulling 147 watts from the wall. All right, let's get into the measurements. What do you think of these measurements? Let me know down in the comment section below. Just a reminder that there is a link to this grow light in the description section below. So you can click on that link if you want to learn more about the light. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it please click that thumbs up and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.